Hey guys, it's me, Skelly here. Today I have a little amplifier that I bought on Amazon. It is a Woozy ZK502M. ZK502M, whichever you want. It cost £11.99. pence. It was quite favourably reviewed. And yeah, I'm going to have a look at it. I'll see if it's worth getting. So inside the box the first thing you get is some accessories so I believe this is the volume knob in there screwdriver, a heat sink and a DC barrel jack with some terminals and I think that's the little button you use to turn it on and off and the heat sink appears to have some 3M adhesive on the back so that's good then we have the actual board itself. There you go, you can see the, uh, if I line that up right, Woozy branding there, the uh, model down there. Lastly in the box is a top cover, there we go. Some standoffs and things, and an acrylic base with the protector still on it, which is good. Firstly, I am going to put it together, so if I open this, in here we have the top bit and the uh, bottom bit. This top piece appears to be made of the same material that PCBs are made of, so fiberglass with silk screen print on it. It appears to be some sort of fancy metallic silk screen. You can see how it kind of, there we go, it's like reflective nearly. It didn't, it didn't come with any instructions or anything, so I'm just sort of guessing at what's going to happen here. This looks like it mounts onto here with some screws. Yep, I am right. Okay. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to thread the screws through these holes here and then hand tighten on these little standoff things. There we go. So now all four corners are on, just hand tightened. There we go, let me go over them all again. We should put on the heat sink and the button for the power switch. There we go. So that has a little square cutout in it, that'll just go on there. There we go. It's not very stable, I must say. It seems to want to pop off. Now the uh, heat sink, there we go. So we've got some 3M adhesive on there. There you go, you can see that. And now I'm just going to put that onto the amplifier chip. That looks good. Nice and centered in there. Okay, now the last thing is to put this top plate on. We get these screws. Okay, so I've got all the screws put in. All the screws are in, as you can see. Now, oh by the way, there was one screw left over. I didn't forget to put this anywhere. It's just an extra screw, I guess, which is always nice. Mm. It's one of those injection molded plastic things which are then painted with metallic shiny paint. I'm personally not a massive fan of these, but you know, it is what it is. And it's only £11.99, so it's not all that much. So then that just presses onto there. There we go. So now we have a volume knob, very nice. An overview on the device. On the front there's USB input that can read uh, USB sticks and apparently it can also act as a, um, a USB DAC. So that's pretty neat. There's also the uh, Bluetooth antenna, if you can see down there. There's the auxiliary input on the back, speaker terminals, and an audio output and a DC input and all the stuff is 
labels here you can see all the stuff for inputs and outputs and things so I think now it's time to power it up and see how it goes so I have my power supply here it is currently set to 24 volts let me set it to 16 actually just so we don't blast it and something happens so on this little included DC jack there's positive and negative it's clearly labeled on the plastic bit and the strain relief whatever you call it and the included screwdriver fits nicely with this terminal block so that's very good let me just shove that in there there we go okay switch this on and now if I plug it in if it fits there we go it fits no lights yet let's power it on something should light up oh there's a light I presume that's for Bluetooth I don't have any speakers connected now but I do have some speakers here I can test them with let's turn that on switch this on and it should appear as woozy let's see there we go woozy audio so I'll connect to that and the lights has gone solid blue which I presume means it's connected okay now I'll connect these speakers up so I'll just push that in and then there we go put that there is that going to go in? yep screw that up and plus these are just some TV speakers I took from a, t a TV I found on the street a while ago they're 8 ohms 12.5 watts each this volume is on minimum it should work now if I start the music there we go nice and fancy there we go Wow, that's not bad. Um, I don't want to blow these speakers. This amplifier is rated for 50 watts per channel and these speakers are only 12.5 watts each. So I really don't want to blow them because I may use them for a project. But so far, it seems to work very well. Oh, this spade connector is coming loose. Yeah. That is very impressive. I'm very pleased with that. It seems to put out a decent amount of power. And let me just watch the uh, ammeter here. You can see it does actually push a bit of power. Hold on. I'm pleased with that. Okay. So, that is the Woozy slash Dolatech ZK ZK502M. There isn't, um, from what I see, any way to pause or play music remotely from here. This knob doesn't press down or anything, and there's no um, buttons on the PCB that can be used to play or pause music. But otherwise, I'd say I'm quite satisfied. Ignore this mess here. So, yeah, there'll be a link for this in the description. I'd say this is a winner. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like. If you found it useful, you can put it in a playlist or share it, whatever. If you didn't like it, dislike it. You can comment, ask me any questions about it, and I'll be sure to answer them. So, yeah, thank you for watching. It's Skelly here, and I'll see you later.